Well, hello there. My name is Mark Miles, and I love helping trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators really take their results to the next level. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a topic that may create a little bit of hate there on the old comment box, or, you know, you may get some people that watch the video and go, oh, I don't want to be with this. But essentially, in today's video, I want to talk to you about why you shouldn't, shouldn't use Kahoot. You shouldn't use Kahoot unless, all right? Now, there's a piece of technology out there called Kahoot, which is a piece of software or an app that you can access, or which is essentially a quiz app where you can basically get people to log in and you can actually create games or quizzes um, that people can actually be part of when you're running a workshop or when you're you know, facilitating a training session. Now, a lot of people love technology, a lot of people love apps, and a lot of people really, you know, really get excited about these pieces of technology that you can add into a training session. But, sorry, folks, I am anti-Kahoot. I hate Kahoot with a passion. Now, the reason for this is, um, uh, let me clarify, all right? I believe that all apps, all tools, need to be used in the right context, okay? Now, there are definitely times where Kahoot can be a huge success and it can be really great fun and people can really enjoy it. But I would say that there are times when Kahoot is the number one thing not to use. Now, what I mean by this is essentially Kahoot does incite a little bit of competitiveness and also very clearly shows who is the winner, who's the loser, and who's not keeping up. And if you have learners that are a bit emotionally insecure in your workshop, you throw a Kahoot out there and say, everyone, let's play. Let's use Kahoot to review what we've learned. Very quickly, if anyone starts getting any wrong or is getting last place in the experience, then people are going to go, oh, this isn't fun. I'm not enjoying this. And some people can get very embarrassed very quickly if they're not keeping up and answering the questions just like everyone else, right? And I would say that Kahoot, yeah, probably it's not great for reviewing content that you've actually taught up until a particular period of time. On the flip side, when would you use it? Well, I would use it for team building activities. I would use it for fun and pick topics that are more generalist in nature and are more so trivia based, not anything related to the actual content that you're actually teaching. Because if you can keep it fun, if you can keep it generalized, then people are not gonna get emotionally engaged or emotionally triggered by whatever happens on the game show, so to speak, right? And, you know, you can do it in environments where, you know, people love competitiveness. People love to, you know, compete with each other and have fun, right? So you can pick topics like the Olympics or, you know, cars or whatever you want. Use it to have fun, but do not use Kahoot to review materials that you've covered or you've taught or, you know, ideas that you've presented or research or anything like that. Because what you will find is in some audiences, people are just going to feel uncomfortable. People are just going to get despondent. People are just going to realize, wow, I'm getting all these wrong. And they're just going to feel out of place, right? So I really want to encourage you, right tool, right context, right purpose behind it. And with a man, and as the saying goes, a man with a hammer sees everything as a nail. A man with a hammer sees everything as an ale. So don't just grab Kahoot and go, yeah, I'm going to use Kahoot for every one of my workshops. Well, there, folks. Right tool, right purpose, right context. And the other thing is maybe you've got some audiences that would really love that fun part, but maybe you've got some audiences that are really a little bit hesitant and a little bit more shy, right? So you really need to pick the right tool, right audience, okay? And that comes to the level of mastery when you're actually going, okay, I've got a great tool, but is it the right tool for this audience? And great master trainers ask themselves that question. Average trainers or beginner trainers just go, I'm going to throw anything at anyone and see what happens. That's the last thing you want to do as a great trainer, facilitator, coach, mentor, whatever you may call yourself. All right, folks, thanks for watching the video and...
comment, subscribe. Let's get this message out there. And thank you so much to everyone for supporting this channel. Awesome, folks. See you on the next one.